Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Wolfram von Richthofen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Wolfram Karl Ludwig Moritz Hermann, Freiherr von Richthofen, was born on October 10th, 1895, a son of Wolfram von Richthofen and Therese Götz von Ohlenhusen. In the year 1913, aged 18, Wolfram von Richthofen joined the Prussian army. After he attended war school in Kassel, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant one year later. Up until the year 1917, von Richthofen, who by the way was the cousin of the famous Red Baron Manfred von Richthofen, served in the Husaren Regiment von Schiller No. 4, where he led a squadron. Afterwards, he transferred to the German Luftstreitkräfte, the air forces, and served together with his cousin Manfred von Richthofen in the Jagdstaffel 11. By the end of the First World War, Wolfram von Richthofen had scored eight air victories. After the First World War, Wolfram von Richthofen left the military in the beginning of the year 1920, ranked as a first lieutenant. Due to the Treaty of Versailles, the German military was not allowed to have any kind of air forces. In the same year, Wolfram von Richthofen got married to Jutta von Selchow, whom he had one son with, and attended university to study mechanical engineering up until the year 1923. In November 1923, Wolfram von Richthofen rejoined the German military and was stationed in the 11th Reiter Regiment in the Prussian Army, ranked as a second lieutenant. Shortly afterwards, he started assisting the secret rebuilding of the German Air Force. Officially, he served in the city command of Berlin, though. In the year 1925, he was promoted again to the rank of first lieutenant, and in February 1929, he became a captain. In the meantime, he acquired a PhD. In April 1929, he was sent as an attaché to the German embassy in Rome, Italy, where he secretly studied the Italian Air Force. On October 1st, 1933, Wolfram von Richthofen joined the still unofficial Luftwaffe, how the German Air Force was called during the Third Reich, where he served as a chief developer in the Reichsluftfahrtministerium. Up until 1936, von Richthofen was promoted to the rank of lieutenant colonel, before he participated in the Condor Legion in the Spanish Civil War. He used this opportunity to test newly developed planes and bombs. Von Richthofen was chief of staff of the Condor Legion during the airstrike against Guernica, where German bomber airplanes destroyed the city and killing hundreds of civilians. In October 1937, Wolfram von Richthofen returned from Spain and three months later was promoted to the rank of colonel and took over command of Kampfgeschwader 257 on April 1st. 1938. And in November of the same year, Wolfram von Richthofen was promoted to the rank of Major General and took over command of the Condor Legion. When the Second World War started, von Richthofen was supporting the 10th Army during the Poland campaign. Before the campaign even started, von Richthofen ordered the bombing of the city of Wielu. Within 10 hours, German Sturzkampfbomber, dive bombers, nearly wiped out the non-military target. During the West Campaign, Wolfram von Richthofen became the commanding general of the 8th Flying Corps and was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on May 18, 1940. He also commanded the air forces during the Battle of Crete, where German parachute troops landed on the island. During Operation Barbarossa, 
Wolfram von Richthofen's Flying Corps supported Tank Group 3. On July 17, 1941, he received the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. On February 1, 1942, he was promoted to the rank of Colonel General and took over command of Luftflotte 4, Air Fleet 4, in July of 1942, with whom he participated in the Battle of Stalingrad. On February 16, 1943, Wolfram von Richthofen was promoted to the rank of General Field Marshal. In June in the same year, he also took over command of the second air fleet, which he led until September 1944, when he gave up his command due to brain cancer. On July 12, 1945, Wolfram von Richthofen died as a prisoner of war in Bad Ischi.